this is one of the examples of fabulous feedback that I've seen going on so far. Um, this one was um, written by Stuart in D group. Um, okay, so this is the lottery essay and what he's done is a couple of really good things which I just want to point out. Um, he's highlighted things um, that are either done very well um, or need a little bit of work. Generally, the highlights point to things that need to be rewritten or developed. So you've got circled um, spelling, punctuation and grammar mistakes. I think circling those is a great technique. Um, what he's then done is highlight a couple of things that need to be looked at. So, for example, down here, um, he's highlighted as to who is she into the reader's mind, engaging them to read on. Um, he said proofreading there um, because there's some spelling errors um, or punctuation and grammar throughout the paragraph, um, but also flow um, of it with examples. So it's saying that this sentence requires some examples um, in order to support it and engage with the material a little bit better. Um, he's highlighted something down here and um, there is much evidence to consider and he said that the sentence adds no meaning. Um, his comments are direct um, to the point and um, is something that the writer can then engage with. What he's then done is break down each specific criteria into a comment at the end. The comments are really balanced and they're written incredibly um, respectfully. Um, they're written clearly. So with language, um, use of single words and sentences for analysis was very good. Concentrate on, I'm not sure what that word says, but the effect on the reader by the author. So that's absolutely something they definitely need to do with the language, but we've got it balanced, okay? So he's pointed out something good with the language and an improvement. If we look at the next sheet, um, we've also got more here. So he's gone through characters, setting, use of terminology, flow and proofreading. So it was the, all of the criteria that needed to be covered in the essay. So this is an example of marking that is really, really thorough. Um, yeah, so each statement generally looks at something that's been done well, but also an improvement. Um, so the writer can really look through this feedback, know exactly what they've done well, what they need to improve. And then we've got the spare sheet next to it for them to write anything and look at anything there. And he's made a statement at the bottom, um, spelling, punctuation and grammar errors are circled rewrite targets highlighted okay so the areas for rewriting have been highlighted on the text and the spell and punctuation and grammar errors have been clearly circled so that the student can correct all of those things before moving on to the next piece of writing um, so well done to Stuart there that was a really successful piece of feedback and for those of you looking to improve your peer assessment and feedback um, this is a technique that you could use um, the pictures are on the fe fabulous feedback page, um, so feel free to have a look at them and look at the feedback a little more closely. Um, and I'm sure if you spoke to Stuart about his um, style of feedback, he wouldn't mind um, explaining what he's done here. Okay, thanks very much. Good luck.